All right, guys, so what we're doing today, we're actually making battery cables. Um, more or less, I had relocated the battery back from the front of my skyline to the rear, and I'm needing to make battery cables that I can run from the battery to my alternator. But this is what you need for the project. Okay, so we have one AUG wire. This is gonna work good for what we're doing. We need some methodology of cutting the wire. We need the ends. We need some um, rising core solder. We need a little bit of a Raychem DR25 or a various heat shrink that you need. Basically, this is going to end up covering the terminal once you put it on. You need a butane torch. I'm just happen to have a snap on. You're going to need some more butane, more than likely. All right, what we're going to end up starting to do, we're going to end up coming over here, cut us a piece of the wire. We're going to end up measuring how far back we need to cut this so that we can cut the insulation back far enough. I don't really need a sharpie or anything. I'm just going to use this. I'm um, just going to gauge it. You're going to end up using a little bit extra room. Mm, that looks about right. It's kind of like a fill thing. There's no exact science to this. have to grab you a uh, box cutter I have to cut long ways just to relieve the tension on that insulation right, cool. you may cut a little bit of the conductor by accident that's fine don't worry about it make sure you got the correct size terminal yeah that worked nicely what you what you want to do you want to fit these things um, pretty snug to the actual um, cable in which you're using or wire um, that way whenever you get the solder in there there's not too much solder in there that it's um, you just want it to fit snug we're gonna switch over here and start heating up the connector me personally I'll just use my vise. Just gonna set it in here. Um, the higher up you can get the thing, the more heat transfer you're gonna get because this vise is gonna act as a big um, heat sink and it's gonna start drawing the heat out of this as you heat this up. So if you are using butane, just stick it up a little bit off of it. That way it's not soaking up all the heat. Go ahead and get our solder opened up. Okay, and then whenever you get this thing set up and everything's right, and whenever you're gonna stab this, you may have some of these fray off to the side, that's fine. Just as long as you have the vast majority of this con uh, conductor inside of the actual terminal, you'll be just fine. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna go right here. Make sure you fill on butane. You don't wanna be halfway through this thing. And then you start running out of butane. So you're just gonna start by heating this thing up. Quick up my fuel a little bit. And you may get some discoloration, that's fine. It actually moves pretty quickly, so. What you don't want to do is you don't want to melt this and allow this to drop into that. What you want to do, you want to heat that up enough so that you can take this and it starts, I don't know if you can see that, but you see how that like melts in there? And that's exactly what you're wanting. And it's going to start bubbling, well, boiling basically because it becomes molten. It's honestly ideal to wear a mask because this is lead, so Obviously, there's a chance of getting lead poisoning. Highly unlikely, but, you know, just a disclaimer. That's the rosin. Don't worry about it. It's not going to make a mess. That's it burning off. Make sure that you do this over something 
that you don't mind getting lead um, solder on. Because whenever you go to stick this in, it will make a mess and it will go everywhere. All right, once this is nice and hot, you're gonna take your cable. Get it lined up, you only got one shot at this, and just cram her in there. Hold it for a couple seconds for the solder to cool down. And there you are. So we'll hop back over here, clean this up a little bit, make this a little bit more presentable. Like I was saying, you're gonna have some of that fray off to the side perfectly normal perfectly fine don't worry about it get you some little wire cutters and just come in here and clean this up and if you size this correctly you'll get that nice gap right there that's not too big not too small I'd have if my wire cutters were uh, Little bit sharper but it seems that people are using them to cut uh welding wire so yeah yeah it's nice and cleaned up there do you want to do a little strength test on it it's not going to come off at all see that yeah so you are golden that's how i put battery terminals on this crimping mess yeah it, it it works but there's a lot of room in there in which corrosion can get in and ultimately you're gonna end up having to redo it with a the solder there's no room in there essentially it's weather sealed because the solder's taking up any spots in there that doesn't have uh, direct contact with the conductor so throw your little piece of heat shrink over this and you are set All right, once you get that done, and you got all the frays done, you're gonna take your little piece of heat shrink, throw over this guy. Come over here with your butane torch again. It's nice and squared up there. Go ahead, heat shrink this down. It's another layer of protection. Honestly, you don't really need it, but I just like it because it makes my cables look nice and professional. The trick's not to burn this, so. And there you go, guys. That's how I make battery cables. So obviously, I'll put this in, run to where I need to do it. Do the exact same thing on the other side and we'll have a battery cable and we'll be good. We won't have anything to worry about. Guys, I apologize. Obviously, that's not the best lighting. I'm trying to get better. Got a good camera. Now I just got to get the lights set up in the garage and that way we can do better videos and try to turn out better content. Hopefully that helps you out. Um, there's a lot of videos on YouTube and they were all over the place. There's no congruency with them. There's no reason to have a 20 minute video just showing how to do that right there. That took what, five minutes at max. So yeah, bust out both sides of your cable. You're gonna be set. Um, make sure you, if you are relocating your battery to the trunk, make sure you use the proper size fuse and a relay um, because that's a lot of room for error as you're passing it over various stuff throughout the body, run it back up to the engine compartment. So yes, just make sure that you do that. Proper fuse, proper relay. And you should be set by relocating your battery in the trunk. Aside from that, this is it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.